Hi, my name is Dee, and I'm here to say that I have a lounge fly addiction, and it's not stopping. <laughs> well, hello there. That kind of worked. I think that'll be it. Hey, what's going on? My name is Dee. Welcome back to the Whale Channel, and today we're going to talk about something quite personal. It's my addiction to Disney bags. All of them. But to be honest, as I was getting everything ready for this, I realized I don't have as much as I thought, which makes me feel all the more warranted in buying more. Also, I just said warranted, did it. Warranted in buying more. So I'm going to. But let me first show you my collection because I love watching these, so might as well make one. So let's dive in. So the first bag I think we're gonna talk about is my Disneyland one. This one tends to be the first bag I always wear when we're going into the parks because it's obviously castle and fireworks. I got it when I went to Disneyland in August for D23. I got it on our first or second day. It was the first time I saw it. Um, I'm so glad I bought it because I barely saw it anywhere after that, but it's super pretty. It obviously has all of this stunning detail about the castle. It's kind of like a 3D set on top of it. So the castle protrudes from the background. The inside then has a ton of pictures of classic Disneyland icons, the ride signs. Some of my favorites are in there. It's just really lovely. The main thing I love about lounge flies is that they're always so detailed and they have so much extra little flair in between. This one next is my Sorcerer Mickey one. I got this one when we went to our most recent trip to Walt Disney World. I bought it on the day we went on the food tour. It literally launched that day. I bought it. I didn't see it for the rest of the week, but it did start coming back into stock kind of our last couple of days. So this bag, is the one that I think has the most details around it. It was part of the paint and ink collection, I think, that launched in February of this year. I bought it during our most recent trip. The inside, you can see, has the main artwork from that collection. But one of my favorite things about it is the zippers they have little paint brushes, which I think are so cute and really, really relate to the Fantasmic and Fantasia side of that is Sorcerer Mickey. But it's so cute. I got so many compliments on it when I was in the parks on my most recent trip. And I'm really glad I bought it, bought it even though Eva told me I was stupid too. Okay, the next bag is something I got in box lunch and it's my Lion King bag. I am so fond of this because the Lion King is my all time mo favorite movie. I'm obsessed with it. This has a lot of artwork around. As you can see from the front, it has the iconic scene from Akuna Matata. And then when you turn around the back, it has Simba when he's a bit grown older. When he's a bit grown older, when he's older, when he's grown up. Jeez, my speech today is terrible. The inside of this bag then just has a really simple geometric design and, and kind of like a brown earthy tone. This obviously is the main bag I always wear to Animal Kingdom, but what I really enjoy about this is that it also has the little Pride Rock emblem on the very, very front, which is A+. Plus would recommend. This one I think is my favorite bag. This is my baby. This was my first ever lounge fly. This has been my everyday bag when I don't have a ton of stuff to bring to work. I just love it so much. I love doll whips. I love the color. It's not aggressively Disney, which I love, but it is Disney. Obviously, if you know it, you know it's the doll whip. And the inside then has a super fun pattern that is just tiki faces along with pineapples um, and I, I'm obsessed with the colour teal so I stun this bag so much it hurts. So from my first bag to my most recent bag is this super fluffy chewy one. I got this on Truffle Shuffle online. It is the cutest shagging thing ever. It is so fluffy. I'm so excited to wear it to the parks. I. I just love it. Obviously, I'm not, I, oh, I can't wear it nowadays because I don't like wearing themed bags unless I'm in a themed area. The inside of this bag then just has Star Wars text and uh, the Alliance, the Rebel Alliance 
symbol everywhere. Yeah, the resistance, the resistance symbol. There we go, yeah, 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 yeah. And this has a really nice big front pocket as well. And look, the inside's all so fluffy. Another fun thing about this bag is that it has different styles of straps. So it just has one big ring, uh, yeah, ring. And then the two straps come off that ring. So it's a bit more comfortable to wear, I'll be absolutely honest. Like it fits nice along the, uh, on your back. We're gonna keep with the Star Wars theme. And this is my Endor bag. So uh, I got this purely because Sandra got a Hoth bag and I thought it'd be really fun if we had matching bags, but not matching. So obviously Endor is in Return of the Jedi, where all the Ewoks are. So it has lots of fun little things. You can see them on the little rider Joachim the Blob. My brain is not working today and I am so sorry. The inside lining of this bag then just says in a galaxy far, far away in green. It is the exact same in the Hoth bag, which basically just has everything in blue. But the other really, really fun thing about this is it has its own little wallet for cards and stuff, which is attached for the bag, but you can also take it out and use it elsewhere. You can use it with different bags. This is also designed to be multi-purpose, so you can not only wear it on your back, you can also wear it as a shoulder bag, which is super cute. So that's all my backpacks done, which is why I feel like I'm totally deserving to buying more backpacks. So we're now gonna go into the shoulder bags. The first one is my Aristocats. I got this on our trip in February because we Disney bounded as the three kittens. We went to California Grill, so I purely bought it so I could wear it to California Grill. It is a tiny bag. With the rest of the lounge flights, they're deceptively big. You can fit a lot of them. They're perfect for the parks. This one is purely for aesthetics. You can maybe get a phone on your wallet and little tiny bit pieces in it. Unless you're obsessed with the Aristocats, which I kind of was and needed it for memories. This is more of a memory bag. Um, yeah, would not. So this is my last lounge fly before we're gonna move on to my very small collection of the other ones because I majority just have lounge flies, but this is a Haunted Mansion boom bag fanny pack, crossbody bag, whatever you'd like to call it. I got this in downtown Disney when I was in Disneyland in August of last year of 2019. I'll be honest, I wasn't planning on buying it, but it was on special. It was $25 if you bought something else. So I was like, okay, I will buy it. Um, and I'm glad I did. I feel like the fanny packs need to be loved more. They're so handy when you're in the park because you can throw a surprising amount into it. You can probably hold more in this than you can in the Aristocrats bag. So on the inside of this bag, you just have the Haunted Mansion wallpaper again, just in black and gray instead of purple and black. But I'm very proud of Haunted Mansion. This bag is great, would recommend. So I only have three bags left. And they're all a bit more fancy. They're all a bit more fashion based instead of practical based. So these don't hold much at all if any. So let's just get into it. The first one is a Danielle Nicole bag. It is the Snow White one. I think that nearly everyone has. I'll be honest, this was a gift. I've never brought it out yet. Because <laughs> Snow White isn't my princess. She's fine. We never gelled. It's cute. Um, but yeah, she was just a gift So I enjoy her. She's very pretty to look at. Will I use her in the park? So I have one more Danielle Nicole, which is the floating lanterns from Tangled. I was about to say Frozen. And um, this is super cute. It's very top heavy though, is the only thing. So if you're wearing it, it tends to um, flip over as it's not showing me, it's stunning. But what makes this quite special is it flashes to show lights, but it's only like a flash flash. I kind of wish it was a fade in and fade out. This I got on the Disney Store website when they were having a sale. Also, all things Rapunzel. I like, I wish there was more Rapunzel lounge flies in the stores. Now, so we're down to my very, very last Disney bag, which is quite sad. So the last bag I have, I got from Cakeworthy. It is a bag that's made to look like a doll whip, 
which is super cute. This one is way worse than the other one for flipping. This one, when you're holding it around, will flip. This has flipped on me when I was on rides and I've had to scramble to pull everything out of the floor while someone else is trying to get into the cart. <laughs> Big Thunder Mountain lost stuff when that scramble but it's very cute it's purely kind of if you wanted to take photos in Adventureland or you wanted to take photos it's a great photographic bag if that makes sense I got it very cheap even though I paid a lot for delivery because I had to jump through to a couple of hoops but I'm very happy because I still love it and I think it's super cute and I love cake worthy they have so many great things. I think I have four or five pieces. So, long live cake worthy. But that is my Disney bag collection. My fashion bag collection is how I'm going to word it. I'm super sorry if the light keeps coming in and out. I'm trying to get a nicer background than just what I normally have. So if this works, happy days. But let me know what you think. What was your favorite bag that I have? What is your like dream bag that you want to have? There's so many I want. There's a new canvas version of the Tiki Room bag, which I really like. I wanted to get some of the Minnie Mouse special ones from the Disney store, which are near impossible to get. But yeah, so tell me if you have a dream bag, tell me what, your, your, what bag of mine you like the most. And aside from that, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like. You don't have to, there's no pressure here. We're all space of love and positivity. If you wanna hang out, subscribe, because we love bigger pods. And um, yes, let me know what you think of the new version of the background since this was the video. It looks much better when it's all <laughs> decorated. So thank you so much for watching. Really, really appreciate it. Let us know if you have any ideas for videos because we don't have any more vlogs because they're all done. We're all in lockdown again. And um, yeah, so if you have any ideas for me or Eva, let us know. Follow us on Instagram, which is whale underscore pod underscore. Twitter is the exact same, which is whale underscore pod underscore. And we will see you on the other side, hopefully. <laughs>